at some of the uh, scheduling that uh, you have over the last few minutes that we have. We've got about six or seven minutes. And let's give you an opportunity to talk about uh, some of your players and uh, some of the things that uh, you hope to do following this upcoming Alabama game, which is to say that let's look down the road at uh, the uh, games after the Alabama game and, and some of the things and some of the players that uh, you believe might be able to uh, do something for you and uh, that we ought to keep an eye on uh, for the rest of the uh, season. Well, we uh, take a week off and then we play Notre Dame. We have eight SEC games and uh, then the three non-conference games of which Notre Dame is one, and then we end the season with uh, Florida and Tennessee. So we have our work cut out for mm -hmm. us. Uh, defensively, James Manley is an outstanding defensive lineman. Uh, offensively, uh, we have uh, Robert Couch coming back as one of our senior linemen, mm -hmm. and Ronnie Gordon as a returning quarterback. Uh, and then on special teams, Bill Marin Angel is an outstanding punter. We have uh, a lot of unknowns because this is a young team and uh, you know as we we approach this season it'll be interesting to see how they evolve I know we have some exciting mm -hmm. players mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to uh, watching them myself mm -hmm. it's uh, not only going to be exciting for the fans but for the coach mm -hmm. <laughs> so so uh, we, we can really promise the uh, Venable University fans uh, 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 an exciting kind of football which is to say that this is a uh, will be a passing kind of offense. Is that what you're promising uh, at this particular point? What I promise is a true adventure <laughs> because I have no idea. I do know this. I know we got some young guys that are very enthusiastic mm -hmm. that uh, feel that they can win mm -hmm. and uh, it's a totally different style of play. Yes, we're going to throw the ball. Mm -hmm. We have to run it and we have to do all the things that are necessary to uh, mm -hmm. compete in this conference and do the job. But uh, in fact, we really, at this point in time, mm -hmm. uh, don't know what we have, and we we can't uh, we don't have preseason games to find out, mm -hmm. and we don't want to scrimmage a lot because we don't want to hurt our players mm -hmm. before they line up against Alabama. So we want to come in with a, a full slate of players, and we're just going to let it all hang out, kind of live on the edge, and we'll just see what mm -hmm. happens. Well, with all of your coaching experience uh, on the professional level, <coughs> would it be safe to say that? Uh, you are, in a real sense, coming up with what, what might be considered a uh, pro-style offense this time around. Is that would that be? Oh, uh, that it's what we know. I mean, mm -hmm. we we but we'll do anything it mm -hmm. takes to win. Now mm -hmm. we're not married to any one thing. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, any way you cut it, the fans come out. It will be exciting. I'll guarantee mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Very good, uh, Mr. Foster. We've got about four minutes here, four and a half minutes. Let's uh, <coughs> give you and Coach Dahlhauer, uh <coughs> these last four minutes to uh, make some final comments and perhaps talk about some things that we've not had an opportunity to uh, talk about this morning. Uh, let's have you do that. Well, our home schedule next year would be a great opportunity to, to come out and see some of the best teams in the country. We have uh, University of Virginia, which will be a top five team coming in, mm -hmm. uh, Purdue University, mm -hmm. which will be uh, a top 10 team coming in, Texas A&M, top 25 team coming in, uh, Tennessee, Georgia, mm -hmm. Alabama, Auburn, uh, a great, great home schedule. And uh, we will have, as of now, we have eight national television appearances coming up. The, the women's game. Women's is, team. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The women's game this year is uh, it's going to almost triple its national TV game exposures mm -hmm. over last season. And uh, again, I think it's another big step. And we're happy to be part of it. Uh, we, we think we're going to have an exciting, uh, fun team to watch and just come once. Okay, very good. And Coach Dow, how, uh, what about your television appearances? Uh, have they made any provisions uh, after the uh, Alabama game for uh, Vanderbilt to appear on ESPN or some of the other local uh, networks? So, <coughs> well, I, I know we're on a few. Uh, mm -hmm. The way you usually find out is mm -hmm. they alter your itinerary. Mm -hmm. In other words, if uh, you're supposed to play at 1 o'clock, in Mississippi, I'll guarantee you they'll change it to 7 o'clock at night and then you'll find out. But uh, I would just say this, uh, you know, we, we're going to have fun. Uh, I had fun playing in college and uh, yes, it's a lot of hard work, but I want our players to have fun on Saturday and the fans should come out and have mm -hmm. fun. Saturday uh, football at the collegiate level mm -hmm. should be uh, fun and exciting and in this conference especially, mm -hmm. this is a great conference. Mm -hmm tremendous uh, competition, good football teams, mm -hmm. 
And that in itself is a lot of excitement. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, our style of play uh, should lend itself to that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we expect our quarterback uh, to be the focal point. And that's why I say it's going to be an adventure because these kids are mm -hmm. used to pitching the ball in the option mm -hmm. and now they're going to throw the forward mm -hmm. pass. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Coach Foster, you know, uh, <clears throat> finally, let's uh, uh, get some response from you in reference to the uh, recent college uh, draft. I think that there was a newspaper article uh, quite a while ago in the, uh, one of the newspapers in reference to your hobby <clears throat> as a person who has been involved in uh, trying to uh, outguess uh, the selection process. What did you find this uh, time around and what are some of the uh, things that you might be able to uh, pass on to our viewers in reference to this recent draft? Well, I came out ahead of USA Today. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, Actually, my, my introduction into that, I, I did the draft one year for the Clippers. I was the guy on the telephone. Jim Lynham, mm -hmm. who's the coach of the Washington Bullets, then is a good friend of mine. And uh, he was out in San Diego at the time and mm -hmm. called me up and asked me to go. Uh, and I just found it very interesting. I was in the middle of a trade that was mm -hmm. being talked about as I was on the phone. They would get on there and tell me what was going on. And I uh, found it very interesting that they, they would tell me who to pick and then I would give it to mm -hmm. this NBA fellow and he'd go up there and sort of the thought goes through your head, well, what if I decided to change this? <laughs> There's not too much they could do about it. But I, I enjoyed it mm -hmm. uh, and uh, had the first five right. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I think Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else goes a well, little Well, it really doesn't crazy. matter after the first five. No. <laughs> uh, Coach Dow Howard, this last minute and uh, some final comments from you. Uh, but you are uh, professional. Uh, in the sense that uh, you've been with uh, a lot of the professional teams. And we also understand that you're a holder of uh, the coveted uh, Super Bowl ring. Is, is that true? Why don't you tell us something about that? Well, that's a tremendous accomplishment, mm -hmm. but it involves a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, notwithstanding my family, mm -hmm. uh, over a period of time. You, you know, you make a lot of sacrifices as you climb that ladder, but you know, we all felt it was well worth it. It was an exciting moment when we uh, beat the uh, Buffalo Bills in Super Bowl XXV. Uh, you know, there, there was a culmination of, a, of a, a lot of hard work and a lot of effort from the players and the coaches and, of course, being with Coach Gibbs, who mm -hmm. had been to three Super Bowls before that, uh, and with an organization that had a tremendous commitment and uh, players that uh, followed through on that commitment. Uh, mm -hmm. You learn a lot of valuable lessons. Very good. Let me thank you, Coach Dahauer and Coach uh, Foster, uh, Foster for coming. Kids, dance music's dropping, the gang's are bopping, so if you want a great feeling, here's where it is.